one town at a time. How'd they do it? Only one man survived, Mr. King, on that uh, fated Birkenwells expedition. Today's episode of One Town to Time takes us up into the Gulf of Carpentaria, just outside of a little town called Normanton, to visit the most northern camp of the infamous Birkenwells. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, landscape through here as whistling kites fly overhead. All manner of bird life here in the Gulf of Savannah. Out water, full of crocodiles, both fresh water and salt water. You want to stay away from the salties, that's for sure. Departing from Melbourne and making it all the way up to the Gulf. Uh, the mission was to transverse the nation from south to north. The Victorians wanted to beat the South Australians. The South Aussies did it uh, about a year later than the Birkenwells expedition, and they had no loss of life on their particular journey. However, the, the fated Birken, Birkenwells expedition had one surviving member, a Mr. King. They camped here, probably about, well, it's 30 k's from Normanton, the current town of Normanton. Uh, couldn't tell you how many k's to the coast itself, but Corumba, the town right there on the Gulf, is about 70 kilometres out of Normanton. So within three days, both Burke and Wheels set off from here with three days' supply to reach the Gulf itself to uh, actually catch a glimpse of the sea. They never got a full view of the open, open ocean, though they tried before they turned back uh, to here, Camp 119, before making their faded journey back down south. It's really phenomenal. Burke and Wills Camp 119, the Gulf of Carpentaria in Queensland, Australia.